There's a TikTok going around about a girlfriend who discovers her boyfriend is cheating on her, and right before he goes on a huge holiday costing tens of thousands of dollars, she decides to teach him a lesson by cutting up his passport and destroying the ID page. And there's a lot of debate about, like, did he deserve it or didn't he deserve it? But what I think you're missing out on is you don't mess with passports because passports are Commonwealth documents. And when you mess with the Commonwealth, you mess with the Fed. So what would happen if some moron decided, I'll get revenge, I'll cut up a passport? You would be charged under Section 34 of the Australian Passport Act, damaging or interfering with an Australian travel document. A person commits offence if the person engages in conduct in relation to a travel document and the conduct results in the destruction of the Australian travel document or damage to or manipulation or interference of a travel document, damage to manipulation or tampering or interference with the Australian travel document's contactless integrated circle, the removal of the Australian travel document's contactless integrated circle, Penalty is 10 years possible imprisonment or a 1,000 penalty units or both. Remember, though, it does not apply if you have a reasonable excuse and you bear an onus of explaining what the reasonable excuse is. Fun fact, a spiteful ex is not part of the reasonable excuse dichotomy. And so if I was you, I wouldn't do this. I can tell you it's not going to end well for you. You'd simply report it and the cops would make a massive, massive Scene because the reality is a passport's an incredibly valuable thing. Damaged passports can be reutilized by criminal syndicates. It's just insanity. So don't do this. Just don't. Follow me for more legal TikTok.